With PSS SYNCAL, Siemens PTI offers a comprehensive high-end analysis software solution for all of your power system planning needs. The unbalanced power system model which it provides is suitable for high, medium, and low voltage grids. Trust in PSS SYNCAL for a complete range of modules covering the design, modeling, and analysis of electrical as well as pipe networks. In this PSS SYNCAL tutorial, we'll be demonstrating the main features and benefits of using the Harmonic Calculation Module. PSS SYNCAL's Harmonics Module calculates the frequency response and simulates the harmonic distortion caused by harmonic sources in balanced and unbalanced networks. Its primary function is to ensure that harmonic filter dimension comply with relevant standards. Network impedances can be modeled in different methods and the module simulates the injection of specific harmonic distortion current and voltage sources into the network. A variety of visualization and documentation possibilities are then available which are built into PSS SYNCAL. To run a harmonic simulation, the frequency dependency of network elements needs to be defined. This is done through the network data of elements under harmonics. PSS SYNCAL provides five ways of modeling frequency dependency. No frequency dependency, by which an XR constant of 5 is assumed. The entries quality, R constant, and quality, XR constant. Another option lets the user define the impedance characteristic as a characteristic curve. The seeker model uses the basic data of the line to calculate the impedance. The system impedance frequency calculations are defined through the harmonic frequency characteristics. In this example, system impedance frequency characteristics will be calculated from the following nodes. For the calculations at the node HAGI 6.6 kV, the start and end frequencies as well as the frequency step size for the calculations are specified here. PSS SYNCAL will use the large frequency steps as default and on resonance automatically switch to small frequency steps. If a reference node is entered, the impedance is calculated between the two nodes. If left empty, the impedance is calculated to ground. In this frequency characteristic, PSS SYNCAL calculates all three phase to ground impedance loops and uses the minimum impedance. The frequency characteristic also appears as a symbol in the graphics editor and can be edited there. Before running, the simulation sources of harmonic distortion need to be created. PSS SYNCAL modules help regulate harmonic distortion both as current and voltage sources. These can be defined under data, harmonics, voltage source, or current source. Here elements of the type harmonic current source can be defined and edited. In this example, three sources have been predefined. In 12 pulse bridge parallel current values are given for specific harmonics. Such data sources for harmonic simulations can be imported from existing files or from other networks. This can be done through File, Import. PSS SYNCAL provides various methods to import data. It can be imported as an Excel spreadsheet, or copied over from other SYNCAL databases by importing row sets. Additionally, data from other SYNCAL networks can be copied and pasted directly over into the network editor or via the creation of catalogs. Once sources of harmonic distortion have been defined, they need to be inserted into the network. This can be done in the network data and in the harmonics tab. In this example, six pulse bridge current distortions have been added to the loads. Sources of harmonic distortion can be inserted at all load types in PSS SYNCAL as well as in DC and AC inverters. General calculation settings for harmonic calculations can be found, like other modules, under Calculation Settings, Harmonic, Ripple Control. For the simulation of effects on communications networks, which are particularly sensitive, it's possible to apply a weighting factor to the calculated harmonic voltages or currents according to different standards. Tick the use of wave resistance equations in the simulation of lines and harmonic calculations for high frequencies. Instead of defining frequency responses individually at nodes, this can be defined centrally for all nodes. Now run the harmonic calculation under Calculate Harmonic. Selected results are now displayed for the total of frequencies on the network diagram.
To see the results for specific frequencies, it is possible to click through the frequencies in the results toolbar. The voltage and current distortions in the network are displayed. Results are also presented in the diagram view. Here, system impedance across the desired frequency range as well as the locus curve at the Nodge Hagi 6.6 kV is plotted. The harmonic distortion at the nodes is also plotted. By default, PSS SYNCALT superposes a maximum permissible harmonic level associated with the chosen standard in the harmonic calculation settings. A user-defined curve can also be used for country-specific standards. The total harmonic distortion value is also shown. In this example, these four transformers act as harmonic canceling transformers. The largest current distortion component created by a six-pulse diode bridge is by far the fifth and seventh component. If loads on the transformers are balanced, as is the case in this example, through the phase shift effects of the transformers, distortions on the primary system can be reduced significantly by switching in the second match transformer system. Now run the harmonic calculations again. Diagrams can also be inserted into the network editor to facilitate results visualization and design phase where the user is still fine-tuning the system. It's clear to see that the 5th, 7th, and 17th, and 19th harmonic components have been suppressed. Shunt filters can now be added to the network to suppress the higher, remaining harmonics which are still above the acceptable range. PSS SYNCAL provides the element shunt RLC filter for filtering. In this example, a serial RLC circuit has been added. Other configurations are also available. The data of the filter element can be entered as RLC values directly or as a filter tuned to a harmonic order. Based on this and the quality in reactive power, PSS SYNCAL calculates the R, L, and C values. Now switch on the filter, tune to the 11th harmonic, and repeat the harmonic simulation. It's clear to see that harmonic levels of the 11th and 13th are now below the permissible standard. To reduce the higher order harmonics which are still above the permissible amount, switch on a second shunt RLC circuit tuned now to the 25th harmonic and perform the harmonic calculations again. Harmonics have now been reduced to an acceptable level and the design of the filter bank is complete. To find out more about PSS SYNCAL modules, feel free to explore our website or contact us directly.